Hey guys, how's it going? So, today I am going to do a first impression let's play review of a game called The Spell Brigade. This game is currently available as a demo on Steam, a free demo. But I am today going to play a early access version of the game that was sent over by the developers of the game. So this is not the same as the demo that is currently available on the game. But um, apparently there's more spells in this version of the game. But we're going to play the game, we're going to check it out. And then if you like the game, you can definitely add the game to your wish list on steam the developers said that the game will release in the summer i really hate it when developers do that i really hate it when developers say uh, coming in the fall or coming in winter or coming in summer like do they not realize that summer doesn't mean shit to most of the people on the planet because where is the summer? Where are the developers based? I'm assuming the developers are based in America. But then I have to go and look up when is summer in America. Like why can't they just say the first quarter, second quarter, third quarter, fourth quarter. Like that's how normal people talk. Normal people don't say coming in summer or coming in winter. Like... That's something weird that Americans do. Like, honestly, it's only Americans that I've seen that do that. It's just really weird and it's irritating to 90% of the planet. But anyway, I digress. We aren't even in the game already and already I'm, I'm going on a rant. So, anyway, I'm going to be playing the game today for an hour or more until I am satisfied that I can give my opinion to you guys on the game as I said it's an early access opinion so I will also probably be doing a, another uh, review when the game actually fully releases according to the developers the game will be in early access for around eight months even though the game isn't released yet so not eight months from now eight months from the date of the game actually releasing into early access it's not in early access currently so um yeah i'm gonna be playing the game uh, for an hour or so if you are in a hurry and you don't want to watch the full video then you can simply skip to the last 10 minutes or so of the video i will put the timestamp in the description below and you can just skip to that timestamp uh, if you only want to hear my quick concise final opinion on the game otherwise you can just stay tuned and i will be playing through the game and i will be giving you my running commentary as i play through the game and i will be telling you what i think is good and bad about the game as we play through the game today so um first off when i started up this game i was almost quite literally tapping my foot like tapping my foot from this music we are in the menu and the, the music is really good. I, I really like this song. I don't know who did it, but I already like the music of this game. So already that is one tick that you can put next to this game's name for something that I actually like. I really like the bloody music. So, um... Let's check out the options quickly. Full screen window, also known as full screen borderless, that's fine. We will turn that down to 2K resolution, because that is the resolution that I record at. Screen shake, I don't like screen shake, we, we will disable that. opt out automatically is not uh, automatically um, 
uh, ticked. This should automatically be ticked. The fact that it is not automatically ticked is not good. That is something that the developers need to fix. Also, you can't change the controls at all. That is not good. Uh, I, I always say, you guys know this by now, I always say, I evaluate a game based on what the game is right now. And right now, if the developers are going to be asking uh, $6, $7, $8, $9, $10 for the game, then you need to evaluate the game based on that price. So the developers have said that they are going to charge around $8 for the game, which is pretty much the same price as a lot of, um, I guess I can say, survivor-like games, games like uh, Vampire Survivors. And um, if you're going to charge the same price as other games, then you need to have the same features as other games. And in other games, you can change your controls. You can change your key bindings of the game. So if you can't do it in this game, then this game has no right to charge the same amount as other games do. So I always say it, I, I evaluate the game based on what it is currently. I do not give two shits about the future, like, oh, in the future the game is going to be fantastic. In the future that we are going to add so much content to the game. In the future, we are going to be able to have uh, rebindable key bindings. I don't give two shits about that. I evaluate the game based on what it is currently. So it's not good that you cannot change your key bindings at all. It's not terrible. Like the game is obviously still playable, but it's not good. And it's also not good that they collect your data by default that should not be on by default so uh, there's no quality settings whatsoever i just clicked on gameplay and nothing happened so there's a little bit of a glitch there sometimes you click and nothing happens who made the music why don't they say the music here so they have VFX. VFX is video. I don't see any music. Like, holy shit, this music is really good. I want to know who made this bloody music. Because the music is fantastic. I'm actually going to turn up the music. Like, my, my audio should still be fine. Oh, sorry about that. I actually received a phone call there. But uh, like I said, I, I'm going to bump up the music just because I really bloody like this music. Uh, but you guys should still hopefully be able to hear me because my audio ducking is not too shabby if I say so myself. Okay, so just like in most uh, survivor-like games, you have to unlock the euros through actually playing the game. The game also has multiplayer, which is something that most other survivor-like games do not have. Okay, so it looks like we have auto firing. The mouse does absolutely nothing. And then we can select our spells. Increase spell size by 6%. Uh, uh, well, by 6. I don't know how much 6 is. But experience should also be very good. Um, let's go for experience. I like the graphics. The graphics actually really remind me of 
League of Legends for some reason. It really looks like League of Legends um, graphics or Dota 2. I, either of those. Where's the really good music? Like they, the I'm I'm missing the really good music from the menu. This music isn't very good at all. They should have just kept the menu music. We should probably be exploring. I don't know if this game is like survivor, like a vampire survivors, where there's actually secrets and stuff for you to collect. Um. So let's explore a little bit. Let's not just stay in one area. Luck. I don't know what luck does. It also doesn't tell you what luck does. So that's not good. You, sh you should be told what luck actually does. The uh, pickup range for the experience is not too bad. Um, it's not a lot, but it's not terrible. I've seen games that have worse pickup uh, ranges, certainly. Okay, we get a new spell. No information with regards to the amount of damage that it does, or the fire rate, or the size, or nothing like that. Now let's try the hex bomb I guess holy crap 150 damage from these small guys oh that's nice Come here, crab. Why are you running away, crab? Bloody hell, that thing is fast. Definitely faster than what I am. bloody unfair that that thing is so fast like it's insanely fast there's also some enemies that have ranged attacks it looks like on teammates or yourself heal instead uh, okay so if I get he hit by my own hex bomb then I get healed um, but it's gonna be difficult to hit myself I mean, healing will be very good. It depends how much it heals. If it heals for a lot, then it will be fantastic. 
Uh, let's try that. Just going to be really difficult to hit ourselves. Oh, almost, almost. Bloody hell, there's a lot of ranged. Fucking hell, we are never going to be able to hit ourselves with this bloody ability. You have to be so quick with your reactions. These bloody ranged dudes are irritating. Ouch. Still don't know what luck does. Ouchies, that hurt. Fucking hell, I'm on 16 health. I also see that some enemies behave differently, um, like some uh, try to cut you off and then others don't try to cut you off. So you even have different enemy behavior as well, which is interesting. Normally in most of these types of games all of the enemies basically behave the same. But here I'm gonna get screwed a little bit. How many bloody enemies should I kill in there? This character really reminds me of Vivi from Final Fantasy IX. Just die. Oh shit. Oh, that was a nice one. That one was spicy. I have not been able to hit myself with this ability even once. It is just so difficult and the, the range of the thing is so small. Oh, there's a weird thing over there. 
I don't know how many times you can resurrect because I've already re been resurrected once, but I don't know. Like, is there a limit or, or how does the system work? What's this health? Holy shit, we actually got health. Oh, and I, I managed to actually eat myself, but it only heals 17, so that's very little. Oh, and the, the objectives, it seems, have time limits. Uh, really not good that the ability like the hex bomb it doesn't even tell you how much it heals you like when you actually select the healing aspect for the hex bomb it doesn't tell you how much it heals it just says that it will heal you but it doesn't give you any information because like when the hex bomb hits them it does like um i think 200 damage uh, 300 damage but when it hits me, it only heals for 17. So, like, where is the damage calculation being done? Like, what, what kind of damage calculation? How do you get 17 healing from 300 damage? Like, how does that make any sense? There was a 468. So, how do you get 17 healing from 468? And the developers really need to give the player far more information. Because right now they're giving the player very, very, very little information regarding a lot of stuff. Like, you aren't told what luck does. You aren't told any information regarding the damage of the abilities. The area of the abilities the fire rate of the abilities because clearly this ability shoots much 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 faster than this ability so clearly the abilities have different fire rates and you simply aren't being given any information how long do i have to fucking stand in that thing a ridiculous amount apparently Luck, I still don't know what luck does. Mm, this is essentially 25% faster shooting. Oh, health regen, holy shit. I really would want that, but I'm not going to pass up an epic upgrade for one health regen. Even though health regen would be fantastic. Uh, let's go for this one. I knew what luck did. I might have chosen luck, maybe. Oh, jeez. Oh, that's a good one. Ouchies. Now I'm not going to be able to do that rift. There's no bloody way. I'm definitely not going to choose this hex um, hex bomb again because the hex bomb seems really fucking terrible. Okay, do we respawn again? Okay, apparently you only respawn once.
Okay, so I don't like the fact that you can't even see what these other quests are. You can't see what the other euros are that you could potentially unlock. Uh, you can't see... Okay, well, the game doesn't have any uh, any um, uh, outfits currently. What's this? Oh, did I just unlock that? No. Right click. I right clicked. Why did you... Fucking hell, how do you reset? Why does right clicking on something add a point? Left clicking and right clicking adds a point. How does that make sense? How do you reset? I don't see any way to reset at all. There's different... Okay, well, there's two different maps. This last map is not implemented yet. Once again, locked by quest, locked by quest. It doesn't actually show you what the quest is or what you need to do to achieve that to uh, unlock it. And I don't know how to to reset these. Like, it, it doesn't allow you to reset them. I got another phone call, but okay. Um, so yeah, I don't know. The developers really need to do a better job at providing the player with information because, holy hell, there's so many things that are just hidden from, from the player, it seems like. And I still do not know what, um, what luck does. Like... There's a lot of stuff that I still do not understand in the slightest. Like, how difficult is it to just add a little um, tooltip which says, you know, luck increases whatever, you know? I definitely want to go for health regen. Health regen seems like it would be super good. Holy balls, speak of the devil. Three half regen. Unfortunately, a lot of these games depend on luck. And I'm a player who doesn't enjoy heavily luck-based games. I just do not enjoy it if... A game is more reliant on luck than what it is on uh, the skill of the player. Like, you can be the most skillful motherfucker on the planet with the game, but you will get screwed over by luck in this game. And then a, a brain dead monkey could play this game and get uh, epic rolls and legendary rolls on each of the different um, cards or on the different abilities. And then he will be better than the most skilled player on earth. And I just do not enjoy games like that. Um, I don't enjoy it when my entire game essentially is determined by luck by rng i don't know let's try magic missile i guess once again you don't get any information uh regarding the damage of the spell the fire rate of the spell the area of the spell like fucking nothing and clearly this spell shoots faster than the um the the bomb that we had the um uh hex hex bomb but it does less damage so clearly there are different things that determine the damage of a spell or the fire rate of the spell and it isn't shown here at all 
So really, the developers need to uh, provide more information to the player. Way more information. Like right now, they are oh shit. They are providing an abysmal amount of information to the player. Essentially no bloody information. Also, the health regen isn't actually 3 health regen per second. Uh, it's, it's, I don't know, I don't know what it is, but it's not per second. That much is fucking certain. It's definitely not per second. Also, what's the difference between, oh, spell damage. So spell damage for that one, and this one is base damage for all of your spells. Let's see if we can complete this one. Okay, apparently that was within range. I'm usually... Oh, you can actually move while you're dead. And then you can hit, you can hit enemies with that ability. You see, that's the kind of stuff that you need to be bloody well told. Because that's actually really... Uh, an important thing like when you die you can use that AOE when you respawn to kill a bunch of enemies and yet the developers don't tell you that you can do that that really sucks um, aims at the enemy with the most health plus 10 damage costs in bursts spell damage so why is this a common upgrade and these two are Legendary upgrades. I don't understand why. Why not all of them? Like all of them should be legendary in my opinion. But okay, I might be wrong. Wow, and it shoots three. Yeah, that really increases our damage. It, it almost triples our bloody damage. Look at that. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Yeah, this build will do much better than our oof other build that we had. Just because that bloody... Uh, oh, that's gonna hurt. That other um, bloody mega ball whatever thing that we cho chose is absolute dog shit. Magic Missiles increases spell damage by 10%, uh, spell range by 10%, okay. Um, yeah, let's go for spell damage, I guess. Ouchies, ouchies. I keep holding the bloody mouse, but like, the only time that you ever use the mouse is when you're selecting a card. Oh, you can select the card with the, with the keys as well. Spell size? No, that won't really help us. Spell cooldown. A year I'm gonna get hit unfortunately and I'm dead. Yeah, I saw that one coming. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, the game is very, very slow. I mean you guys can see from the gameplay. The game is very, very slow. Um and it doesn't really get much faster. Like even when you're 10, 15, 20 minutes into a run you still have only two spells. You have your normal spell and then your additional spell. So the game progresses much, much, much slower than 
something like Vampire Survivors, for instance. In Vampire Survivors, you get your spells very quickly. Like, you get your first spell, second spell, third spell, or at least abilities, what, whatever you want to call it. And in 10, 20 minutes, you're fucking obliterating the screen, you know? Whereas this game is much, much, much slower. Uh, to its detriment, in my opinion. Um, the game is just really slow. Um, too slow to really be enjoyable, in my opinion. Um, so I don't know what the developers need to do. They need to increase the the amount, the, the rate of experience, perhaps, so that you, you get stuff faster, because, like, nothing happens for, like, two, three, four minutes at a time while you're progressing to the next level. It just feels very slow. Um, the shocking lack of information that you're provided, like, I still do not know what luck does. I still do not know. Um, it doesn't tell you the health regen, right? It, you would assume that it is per second. So when a thing says one health regen or three health regen, you would assume that it is per second. But in fact, it is not per second. I don't know what it is. It's not per second, but I don't know what it is. And the developer, developers doesn't tell you what it is. Um, the same with all of the spells. How much damage does the spell do? Uh, what is the range of the spell? Like the magic magic missile that I just had shoots out, but then it ends after like a short while. So what's the range of the spell? The same with that other ball, the, the mega ball, what the fuck ever arcane ball that I had. It shoots out and then it explodes in an area. What is that area? So you're not being told the fire rate, the damage, the area. Like you're not told anything regarding anything, which is really, really poor. It's really, really not good to not even tell the player the damage or the range or the fire rate or anything like that it's just really really poor what the developer should be doing is when you hover over the arcane ball or when you hover over the uh magic missile or what the fuck ever i just had it should show you a little video like a little video that pops up like you get in many games and then it shows you how the ability works it shows you like a five second or a six second loop of what the ability does that will make the player actually be able to see hmm, do i like that type of uh play style or don't i like that type of play style and then on top of that obviously i don't even need to say it but Obviously, you need to be told what the damage of a spell is. How much healing does the spell provide? How the hell do you get 17 healing to the player from 468 damage? Like, where is the conversion being done? Like, that's not even 10%. It's not even 5%. So... How do you get 17 healing from 468 damage? It doesn't make sense. Just provide the player with some fucking information. You're, you're not being provided with any information. It's really ridiculous. Like the, the amount of information that you're not being provided in this game by the developers is ridiculous. Um, and then, yeah, like I said, the game is very, very slow. Extremely slow. Um, I don't know where the music is. Where's the good music? What happens if we click here? Do we get the good music? Where's the good music? I want the good music. Like, I'm, I'm literally gonna quit the game and go back into the game because I want the good music. Like, it seems the only way to get the good, good music is to close the game, open the game up again. Like, honestly, uh, the menu music is the best thing about this game like this menu music is really really good 
and it's it's the best thing about the game i can honestly say that i would leave this game open in the background while browsing the internet just for this song just for this music the rest of the music while you're actually playing the game is is mediocre but this song is really really fantastic just listen to it Like the music is bloody fantastic and then when you actually go into the game and you actually play the game uh, Then the music is really not good. It's really forgettable and Yeah, as I said like you aren't shown how to unlock all of the euros You aren't shown how to unlock all of the uh, abilities and the skills and all of that other stuff you seemingly can't reset your skills at all. I don't see any buttons to reset the skills once you've actually applied the um, the the meta meta progression stuff in the main main menu. Like honestly, this game needs a lot of work. The developer said that they plan to release the game uh, eight months after it has been released into early access. I honestly think the developers are gonna need a little bit more time because yeah like they've got a lot of stuff to do and as I said the developers are going to apparently charge around eight dollars for the game from the information that I have around eight dollars so this game is going to compete against uh, a couple of uh, different games like I mean we can have a look here at my library quickly to show you I actually have a lot of these bloody um, survivor like games um, how do you actually search for them like survivor nope um, uh, I don't like the term because it's not the correct term but a lot of these games are calling themselves a rogue like but it's not correct it's not the correct term because this game is nothing like rogue this game is nothing like rogue this game is nothing like rogue all of these bloody games are nothing like rogue so the rogue like is the incorrect term but anyway let me not go on a, ran a rant about that um uh, I know that Vampire Survivors obviously is basically one of the first games that, well, it's certainly one of the most popular games. You can obviously say that something like Crimson Land, which is far, far, far older than Vampire Survivors, is one of the initial games. I don't think I actually have Crimson Land. I don't think so. Crimson Land. No, I don't have Crimson Land. But Crimson Land is, I think it is available on Steam. Crimson Land. Yes, it is on Steam. This is the OG, the original gangster of survivor like games. Survivor like is the, the correct term i would say even though it should be uh, crimson land like like the entire genre should be called crimson land like because all of the games like vampire survivors and any other games that are based on vampire survivors is actually based on crimson land or like even crimson land might not be the first one that actually um started the genre uh, when did Crimson Land actually release? 2003. So, so Crimson Land is, in my opinion, probably one of the originators of the survivor-like genre because it has been around since 2003. So, any game claiming to be a survivor-like is actually a Crimson Land-like because it it's from 2003 and it is. 
in my opinion, the originator of the survivor-like genre. But anyway, um, I want to show you guys, we can actually just um, survive, search for survive, because so many um, games have the name survivor in them. So Vampire Survivors, obviously, um, it's a pretty okay game, honestly. Like, you can rage all you want in the comments below, but I, I'm not a fan of Vampire Survivors. It's a fine game for, like, $3, $4, whatever it costs, but it gets very old very fast, in my opinion, and the DLC practices that the developers do are deplorable, in my opinion. Um... Soulstone Survivors is actually very good. Soulstone Survivors is a game that I would definitely recommend. It is one of the best of these types of games, of the Crimson Land-like games. It's a very, very good one. It's still in early access currently. I actually look forward to the game fully releasing. So, honestly, I would say Soulstone Survivors is... Yeah, probably, in my opinion, the best one of these games. Um, call it a bullet hell game, call it a Crimson Land-like game, call it a survivor-like game, call it whatever you want. It is, in my opinion, the best survivor-like uh, game that is currently on the market. Um, it's a little bit more expensive than most of these types of uh, games. Most of these types of games are like around $5, $6. And uh, Soulstone Survivors is $10. So it's a little bit more expensive than most of these types of games. Uh, but there's some other games that are also around $10. Like if we look at uh deep rock deep rock survivors deep deep rock galactic survivor this one is also ten dollars so um this one is 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 pretty good i've played it a little bit um it's pretty good but yeah i still think that uh soulstone survivors is better in my opinion um but yeah, honestly, if this game, if, um, uh, fucking forgot the name of the game, if sp the Spell Brigade is gonna charge $8 or $9 or $10, then it's gonna go against games like, uh, Soulstone Survivor, which is, in my opinion, the best game, uh, for $10. And it's gonna go against uh, Deep Rock Galactic Survivor as well, which is pretty good. Um, this one, have I played this one? I think I have played it. No, I haven't played this one yet. This, I actually need to review this one yet. Um, this one also seems to be around $10. Yeah, I need to check this one out. Um, but yeah, like I say... Honestly, um, I, I, I can't recommend this game for $10, I have to be honest. If they're going to ask $8, $9, $10 for the Spell Brigade, uh, I, I can't recommend it for that price, based on what I am currently seeing here, simply because... There is no way in hell how I would pay $10 or $8 or $9 for this game when I can get uh, Soulstone Survivors for $10. Like, Soulstone Survivors is just far, far, far better than this game is currently. And like I said, I can only uh, evaluate a game based on what it is currently. I don't give two shits about what it would be in the future. I don't care about uh, the fact that in the future the game will have more characters or in the future the game will allow you to change the controls or anything like that. I can only evaluate the game on what it is currently and currently I cannot recommend this game for $10 
just because there are so many other games that are better than this game for $10. So this game has no right to charge anything close to $10. If this game was, I don't know, $4, I might be able to recommend it. But it's not going to be $4. It's going to be around $8. I can already tell you. So, um, yeah, I, I, I cannot recommend the game until the developers actually tell you what damage your spells do, attack speed, attack rate, range of your spells, um, area of effect of your spells, uh, how much healing per second you are actually gaining, how much healing you are gaining from the spells, none of that is being told to you currently. And that is an issue. And a lot of other stuff is also not told to the player. Like how to unlock the different classes, for instance. So, yeah. I, I can't recommend the game as it is currently. Just because there are far better games out there for $10. And, I mean, Vampire Survivors is pretty good. And it's like $4 or $5. So this game, in my opinion, doesn't have the right to ask $80 or whatever it's going to ask um, but yeah uh, I will check out the game in the future when it is released um, fully and um, we will then see if it can be possibly uh, uh, be worth um, whatever $8, $9, $10 whatever but as I already said currently in my opinion um, the best game out of this genre of games is Soulstone Survivors. There is simply not a game better than this currently in the genre available for $10. Um, so yeah, um, this these developers have quite a bit of work to do in order to get the game to be worth $10 in my opinion. The music is bloody fantastic. The menu music is bloody fantastic. The, the music while you're actually playing the game is mediocre in my opinion. So the developers need to tell whoever they got the song from to crank out more bangers like this song. Because the best thing about this game in my opinion is the bloody music by far. The music is the best by far is better than the rest of the game and um, it's still not worth eight dollars or nine dollars or ten dollars i wouldn't pay ten dollars for this song even though it's a very good song um so yeah um like i said the developer sent me a code um with early access for the game i will check out the game when the game is actually fully released on steam not just in early access since this is the early access review I will be checking out the game once it is actually out of early access. Then I will be checking out the game again. And then we will see if the game is worth the asking price. Because currently it's not worth the asking price. Um, as always, if you guys want to see more reviews from me. If you want to enable me to do more reviews. Then uh, your support on patreon.com forward slash LFP would be very much appreciated. It allows me to purchase more games and to do more reviews for you guys. So yeah guys, I will let you listen to the, the music here a little bit, like a couple of minutes, just so that you can hear how bloody awesome this song is. And then I will end the video after that. So thanks a lot for watching. And I will see you guys next time. You can add the game to your wish list uh, in the description below if you like.